Hi everyone, welcome back to another video with Wonderful Boys. Today, I'm in Singapore and the hotel that I'm staying in is the Pan Pacific Orchard, Singapore. This hotel has recently opened in June 2023, so it's a relatively new and uh, it's actually located within the Orchard Shopping District. So lots of iconic shopping places for you to do your shopping. Like the building that's just behind us there, you can see the one that is brightly lit, that's Ion Orchard. If you walk further down the Orchard Road, which is the road behind us, you can actually get to different malls like the Paragon as well as the Takashimaya. So lots of options for you to actually uh, do your shopping. And the nearest MRT station is the uh, Orchard Station, which is also where just uh, below Ion Orchard, which is just over there. So very, very convenient location for you to get around Singapore. The hotel has different zones. You can say that there is a forest zone, there is the uh, beach zone uh, where the pool is at. There's also the uh, cloud zone as, as well as the garden zone. So it's actually very uh, interesting to see the architecture of this uh, hotel. So the room that we are assigned to is actually the uh, cloud terrace suite, which is uh, located on the higher floors of the property and is also the largest as well as the highest category room that the hotel is currently selling. And it measures about 68 square meters. It has a separate living space, which is, I would say, very, very modernly designed and also a good size bedroom. What I particularly like is actually the bathroom, which is spacious and uh, very bright as well. And also where I'm at, this is actually part of the uh, suite, which is the balcony. Very nice uh, area for you to actually lounge. I can see it's very bright as well. And you can actually, uh, these suites are actually in the corner, so it overlooks uh, the orchard district. So it's very beautiful. I will also be showing you some of the hotel grounds and also the facilities like the swimming pool as well as the fitness center. And also, if uh, the time permits, I will show you some uh, highlights from the club lounge, uh, which uh, has club lounge access for if you book a suite room, and uh, perhaps uh, the breakfast, which will be held uh, tomorrow. If you haven't already subscribed to our channel, do consider doing so by hitting the subscribe button that's just down below. It will mean a lot to us. So if not, let's proceed with the room tour. Hi, so this is the uh, Cloud Terrace Suite and it's about 68 square meters in floor size so actually a very generous uh, size and as you see this is the welcome area and there's even a bench for you to sit down to do your shoes and take out your socks etc and the main uh, lighting switches are actually on this side so let's head further inside and immediately to your right hand side is like a pantry so we see that there is an espresso coffee machine this looks like a really expensive one with the capsules which actually you don't need to uh, add the control the amount of water it's already preset some cups over here and a tea by TWG which is always great to have so there are glasses which are actually just below here or rather over here and there's some cutleries as well for you to have a meal here perhaps so the refrigerator is actually below of course these items um, are chargeable so if you want to purchase them do check the price before you actually consume them so there is um, no uh, bottled water given but there is a water dispenser I believe this is a filtered water and you can actually simply just fill up some of these mugs here or glass by just pressing the buttons like a regular water dispenser so actually pretty convenient I think it's quite nice as well to have this rather than the uh, plastic water bottles right so a basin here for you at this kitchenette and um, actually on your left hand side is actually the uh, bathroom entrance of the bathroom and there's actually two entrances but this is just one of them i'll show you later all right so heading further into the room is actually the living room and the living room is actually okay size not too bad i would say and immediately here we see a sofa i wouldn't say that this is the most comfortable sofa but i guess it's okay it looks like it can fit quite a number of uh, people here and um, also there's a single seater seat over there and a coffee table a high table so you can actually have consume your meals over here pretty decent and there's also a balcony which uh, have access from the living room and the bedroom and i'll show you later it's actually very nice and this is a television which is actually really large i would say a bit too large from for this particular uh, distance 
Okay, so um, not much else here. So I'll head next into the bedroom. So the bedroom, as you can see, is also decently sized. And there is actually in the middle of it, a really large uh, bed. So on this side, on either side, there is a, um, a small table. Bedside table with uh, some of the light switches and also the power sockets. So both sides has power sockets. You all don't have to fight. Uh, which is nice and also I really like that the design of this uh, room is actually very modern and it's also really nice and there's also another television here which is about the same size as the television inside the living room so it's actually really nice okay so next up is the uh, bathroom which is just behind me so let's go okay so again uh, the tiling doors are a little bit heavy and this is the bathroom which is actually I find it really spacious I really love the tiles it's all very wide and very modern um, and in fact, on the right hand side, when you come in, you can, you can see that there is a wardrobe. And in fact, there are actually two wardrobes. So there's a his and her concept, so you don't have to fight for the space. And also there is a double vanity, so that you can actually, um, again, not fight. You can uh, have a, a personalized space. You can do whatever you want here. You can put your toiletries. There's a lot of space to do that. Right, and I also love that there are some the, the LED panel surrounding the mirror, which is nice. Okay, so this is the other one, which is empty, so you can have a better look. We have the uh, bathroom vanities, like the, uh, there's a bath ropes, lots of towels, there's a ironing board and below there are some bathroom uh, slippers as well as the bedroom slippers, a vanity kit um, and, and all that, right? So opposite here is the very squarish or rather rectangularish looking bathtub which I think is of a really good size. This I think looks like the same brand as the one at the JW Marriott so I think it's going to be really comfortable, can't wait to try it. And you can actually put your, your show, your tablet here, or you can put your food here or beverage to drink. Right, so okay, let's hit see the uh, shower space, which is over here, and I would say that this is a very comfortable space to actually to have a shower. There is a rain shower on top, as you can see, and also the handheld shower here. So I would say really good space. You can fit two or three persons here. Okay, so uh, the toiletry bathroom amenities is uh, over here. Uh, the uh, brand is uh, they call it Diptych, which I've not heard, but it does smell good. So. Look forward to try it. I also do love, you see the tiles are all very consistent throughout the whole bathroom. Okay, so let's head back on the outside because you must be wondering where the WC is. It's actually just next door. And we see that the uh, WC, there is a automatic seat, which is always fantastic to have. And also a um, heated seat as well. And also a bidet, automated one. You can just control it over here. This is like, I feel it's a must-have in, in any luxury hotel, right? You can actually control uh, with, without even touching the toilet seat. And the sink is here. There's also a two, two sinks there, of course, but there's a sink just for this. So again, as I mentioned earlier in the video, there is an entrance from this side, which is the main entrance of the uh, suite. And there is a small glass door for you to actually close for privacy. I mean, you can still see through, but uh, you can have some sort of privacy here if you have guests want to use this area and someone wants to use the uh, shower space. Okay, so that's not the end of the suite tour, of course. We have a very nice balcony that we are going to show you. So let's head back out to the living space and the balcony, which I want to show you. I just open the door. Um, so basically all the uh, switches, whether the light switches or the curtain switches are controlled on this uh, wall panel right over here. And um, it's actually difficult to navigate because they're just pictures. So you have to uh, kind of like associate them with, with the uh, what they are. So in this case, this is the zip track. To leave the zip track, I will have to press and hold onto the, the lever. And you can see behind me, the zip track is actually going upwards. And it's a really nice balcony. Just a moment. Okay, so it should be automatic by now. So look, let's head this way. You can see that um, it's a very nice, very spacious area. There's even a nice lounge uh, seats right here so far. And as you see that when the zip track goes up, we have this is the uh, the cloud zone where I believe that this is actually where the event spaces are going to be um, held and on this side on the further to my right hand side is where the really beautiful corner view of the main Orchard Road so that is Orchard Road that is all the main attractions media attractions like the Ion Orchard which is over there and um, it's really beautiful right below us is the Thai Embassy which is nice as well so this is it. This is the Cloud Terrace uh, Suite here at the Pan Pacific Orchard. We are glad to show you this room, 68 square meters. Really nice, very modern, and a lot of good vibes here. So next up, I'm going to show you around the hotels as well as the facilities that it might have.
The hotel has four distinct terraces. The first is the forest terrace with lush greenery. This is also where the lobby area is. What you can see here are wooden birds perched on grids. There is also a cascading waterfall which can be admired from the lobby and restaurant. Heading upstairs, the beach terrace houses the pool. The rooms on the left are the beach club lofts which have direct pool access. The pool is modelled to look like a lagoon with palm trees surrounding it. There is even a swim-up bar and if you swim further, you will get great views of Orchard. The fitness centre is also situated on this floor and is well equipped. Next up is the garden terrace with cabanas encompassing a rectangular lawn. The club lounge is located on this floor and is a cosy space to retreat to. Finally, the Cloud Terrace is a designated space for events and functions. Breakfast is served at Mozilla at the Forest Terrace and offers an excellent spread of food. That's all that I have for you in today's video and thanks for staying all the way to the end. If you enjoyed this video or if you found this helpful, do consider giving us a thumbs up by hitting the like button that's just below. If you haven't already done so, do support us by subscribing to our channel. There are more videos like this, hotel reviews and more, on your right hand side which is just over there. So do check them out. If not, I will see you in the next one. Bye!